The dry sketch command is actually another flavour of the copy sketch command. The difference being between derived and copied is that with a derived we actually create an external link to the original so that we do not have to add dimensions in order to change it. Let's actually show how this works. If we actually show our sketch here, the hexagon that you can see, or we can double click it, you'll see that we actually have a hexagon of 25 millimeters across flats. What we'd like to do here is actually derive this onto this front face. Now if I go to my insert and derive sketch, you'll see that it's greyed out. And this is because this is another command that requires pre-selection. So what we need to do is control select the actual sketch that we wish to derive, the face that we want to actually derive it to, and now if we go insert, derive sketch, you'll see that the sketch is now positioned on that face. Now I'll actually drag this down and I'll actually position it, and you can see on here that uh, we have no dimensions as such uh, on our new sketch. Now this is because it's derived and what we need to do is literally just add a relation okay, between the original sketch and one of these horizontal faces and I'll just make these parallel and you can see now that that sketch is indeed defined without actually having any dimensions placed on it. On the feature tree you'll also see that it's got the derived suffix uh, on the actual uh, sketch name. So let's actually come out of this sketch and let's see what happens if we change the original one. So I'm going to go to sketch 5, change this 25 to be 35. And you'll see that indeed that it does increase in size. But you'll also notice that our new sketch here has also increased accordingly.